I'm going to pay you extra for those. Okay, it's all good. You're, you're making extra money in here. <laughs> I'm going to pay you more than I paid anybody now. <laughs> okay, so Solo, um, the last time we spoke, you, uh, your name was Kristen, but I understand you're just, your name changes by yeah. the... <laughs> Clearly, by the <laughs> day. Sometimes. You don't know if I'm a cop. You don't know who I was, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Um, so uh, tell me what's been going on since last time we spoke. That was about a year ago. Okay. Um, well, I'm still prostituting. Um, well, I was um, until recently, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm prostituting. And um, I'm still smoking crack. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still living on the streets, still homeless. But outside of that, like, um, recently, I've been in the hospital. So what, what, what happened with your eye? You got yeah, beaten up? Eye. Yeah, well, one of my dates, I got kidnapped and tortured and raped and held hostage for like two and a half, three days. Um, I don't know, I like got into a car and, and the guy was like a normal date, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really tripping on him. He wasn't no scary man. He wasn't all freaky or nothing like that. He was just more like, you know, average. I don't know. He just looked average. But the guy, where we was, you know, I was smoking a cigarette and I'm looking out the window. White, white black? Um, he was Mexican. Mexican? Okay. Yeah. And, like, I was smoking a cigarette, looking out the window, and the guy, like, put something over my face. And the only thing I remember is, like, I kind of jumped back because I seen his hand coming, right? But I knocked out completely, like, within seconds, I, I'm guessing, like, because I was out. I don't remember nothing. I didn't see nothing. Um, whenever I came to... Like, it was just really weird where I was at. It looked at, like, metal walls, maybe. Like, I was in a freight train or, like, a storage place. I don't really know. Or maybe his basement, if he had metal up. or I don't know you where know I was. You didn't know where you were. No, but it was, like, really long. It was a long place, and there was nothing in there but a pallet. And then he had a cooler in there, you know. And that's all that I could see because it was really dark. And, um, and so the guy, like... Throughout the time that we was there, I kept coming in and out, like knocking out or whatever. And but I was up for a period of time, and when I was, he was just like really weird. He was like telling me, um, you know, oh, you would make a great wife, and you're my bride to be, and, and you would like that, wouldn't you? And like if I if I shook my head no, then he would like beat on me and hit me, you know. And, and he kept raping me, and then he would go like really really mean like saying you cheated on me bitch and like weird shit you know and i'm oh like God. i don't even know so he'd you. go from nice to, to abusive back and forth yeah and i mean like he would do that for like two or three hours though of just like really nice and like petting my head and oh let me wash you up and and i mean just really weird stuff right and then he'd be like i'm sorry i hurt you but you've hurt me so bad and like i don't know this guy at all at all right <laughs> you never met him before i've never met him before ever and i don't even date mexican guys sorry no offense but, but like i don't date him in my normal life you know so right. so i was like what the fuck is going on you know and so i thought that the guy was going to kill me really like i didn't even think that i was going to make it and I had, I guess from trauma, I knocked out for several hours. Um, I don't know, whenever I came back to, he wasn't there. So like, of course, you know, like anybody else, I was trying to get away. Like I was trying to get my hands out and I'm like, you know, and from me, I guess struggling enough, I passed back out, I went back to sleep. How many days was this? Two and a half, three days. It was oh. like, you know, right at three days, a couple hours from three days. But yeah, like I was, I remember I was doing this and this with my feet and I'm like, you know, on the fucking movies, this shit works, <laughs> like ain't it working, like, you know? And I was like trying everything and my mouth was taped so I couldn't bite it or nothing. And there was nothing like around me, but I couldn't even move that far. He had me like pinned, like on my back. He had a thing hooked onto my, like the pants that he put on me, yeah. had a buckle and like he had it hooked onto something on the floor. So I couldn't even move. Oh, geez. Like, so I'm like, well, how the fuck am I going to get out? And I couldn't put my hands behind me or nothing, you know, but I could feel it on my back. Like, and I'm like, what the hell? And I could hear the chain when I would move what I could the little bit that I couldn't move, you know. And so when he came, when I woke back up, he was there and the guy was like, he had a bowl and he's like, you know, a sponge. And he's all like, oh, I'm going to wash you up and don't worry. It's all going to be over soon. And, you know. 
you should really know that there's bad people in the world and yeah and that it's not safe out there for you to do this my sister at one time got killed by again yeah, i mean it was a weird were, were you were you in fear of your life at some point yeah like i, I thought i was he was going to murder me he had a duffel bag and a fucking sponge and i'm like what the hell is this right you um, know so i'm sitting there and he's like telling me my sister was a prostitute who got killed you know and i mean it was a real like just mental psychological like yeah, weird easy. you know what i'm saying the whole event and um he's like it's just gonna be over soon and he's like watching me and he's like this ain't gonna hurt and he put that thing over my mouth on my nose right and i knocked back out i thought that he was gonna kill me yeah you know like that was it because he kept saying it's over now and da 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 you know and it's been a good marriage and <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, wow. but I got to let you go. And I'm like, you know, you got to go to your final destination like the rest of us. And I mean, it was just weird. He was a weirdo, you know, and I'm like, so when I woke up, a, a man that was jogging out in West L.A. had actually was jogging and seen me. And I was laying half on the grass and half on the cement. But I had blood and I was naked from the bottom down. And I had blood on my on my face and there was blood on the cement where my head was. And I was naked from here down and I had bruises and stuff all over me. So the guy was like waking me up and he had his cell phone on him. And whenever I came to, I was like, what the, you know, and I jerked away from him and I'm like, don't touch me, right? And I noticed that my mouth was undone. And that was the first thing. And then I jumped up and I was like, kind of, you know, like nervous and I was shaking real bad. And he was like, are you okay? Are you okay? You want me to call the police? And I was just like, nah. You know, don't call the police, you know, because it most time don't work out in our favor. <laughs> and I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. And so he was like, okay, you know, are you sure you're okay? And I said, yeah, I just had an incident, you know, and I'm okay, I'm okay. And so he was like, are you sure? And I took off real quick because I didn't want him to call the police. And, um, and I ran into, by the CVS and the CVS, the guy that works at the CVS over there actually gave me a pair of sweats to put on. Okay. Yeah, because I was just like, look, I'm a prostitute, and um, I just got raped. The guy kept my pants, you know, and he was like, okay, you know, come here, come here, and he took me to the back and gave me a pair of pants, which was really nice of him. Then I left from there and went to USC uh, Medical, or U UCLA Medical right there at the hospital, and I was pretty beat up, wow. I, and I, they said that I had been raped multiple times. I also suffered from trauma. They had me there for almost a week. I just got out two days ago. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So. so has this has this changed your your attitude about what you do for a living and living on the street and all that? Uh, well, <laughs> clearly my husband <laughs> changed his idea. Yeah, <laughs> but um, no, it, it's pretty scary. And I think right now, like, if I do go back into that, like, it would only be with my regulars, the people that I've known for years, yeah. um, because. That kind of freaked me out. It's like you can just get into a car, and I never, I never thought it on that guy. Like I never seen yeah. it coming. Yeah. And usually I'm pretty good with like, you know, picking up on people because yeah. I'll jump out of the car in a minute. I'm like, uh, -uh honey, I'm good, yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But um, from past experiences, but I didn't see it coming at all. You know, usually as a woman, you get that feeling like this probably ain't the best situation. Yeah. You know, so maybe I should get out especially doing what we do out here. You become very aware, I've been doing it for several years. So you become very aware and you learn people's um, body language, you learn their mannerism, you know, and um, you how, become how, really good at that. How, how many years have you been out? Um, I've been doing this for, I wanna say 14, 15 years. Wow. Yeah. And so, um, of course, you know, you go through different things which helps you to learn that, to have that experience. Um, yeah, your intuition probably gets very, very good. Very good, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I didn't see it coming, you know. So that's that's really hard um, to deal with, and not to mention, I mean, the guy he had kids. There was a car seat in the back. Oh, jeez, really? Yeah, which also made me feel a little more comfortable, you know, with the whole situation. Because I'm like, oh, he's got kids. He's a family man. What do you ring on? You know, didn't think nothing of it, nothing at all. And out of nowhere, it was it just happened. Well, I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you. Thanks. Me yeah, too. Yeah, that would be a horrible. Yeah, way hey, to but go. I survived. Right? Well, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're back with us. Thank you. And uh, be careful out there. I will.
Do you, have you told any of your family or anybody like that? Yeah, yeah, I called my, my <laughs> what's, 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 what's their reaction? <laughs> you know, my sister was just like, what the hell, come home? And I'm like, no, you know, but I mean, they're so, my family is very, like, um, how do I put it, like, backward. They don't, they're not knowledgeable, really, about here. Yeah. So, like, just the shit I tell them, period, like, I smoke crack on the streets, they don't get it. They're yeah. like, what? <laughs> you know? yeah. And I'm like, yeah, we just light up our pipe, like, in front of the jail. And they're like, the, cop, no. the cops don't, don't look twice. They, yeah. And they're like, what do the cops do? I said, they wave at us. They're, they're, they're more likely to bust a jaywalker right. than, than, than that. You know, so my family, they don't, they don't get it. Really, and um, I don't know. It, it, they want me to come home, but I tell them, like, you know, it ain't nothing unusual. Like, I've been raped before, you guys know that, and things. I made it through. Um, it was pretty traumatic as far as, you know, um, my sleeping and different things, but I think I'll be okay. I mean, I, I'm always looking at the bright side of things, so, you know, at least I, I live. I mean, <laughs> I mean, calling the cops on this guy, you, don't, you, you have no identifying. Um, no, but pretty much how it works over there is if I see him come back to Agatha, which most of the time the predators do come back, right. um, which is really crazy and stupid, but they actually return to where they initially get their victims, yeah. right? And, um, and so if he comes back, how it pretty much will work is a girl will lure him, and he'll get grabbed out the car, beat up, and fucked up severely. Oh, is that right? And um, if the right person gets a hold of him, he may not come back. Interesting. Yeah, you know, skid row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All your dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, thank you so much for telling me the story. It's horrible. Uh -huh. horrible. All right. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you survived it. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh.